Hello and welcome to uh, this is week 49, day five, session two uh, today, which is uh, we are pretty much buying businesses. Uh, you know, we sometimes we call it uh, real estate, uh, commercial real estate, uh, even Airbnb, single family homes. That's a business. So we are pretty much in the uh, mergers and acquisitions business because we are um, buying the business for the purpose of the cash flow and then aggregating all these businesses together, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. In, in order for us to do that, we've got to make a ton of calls. I mean, I think of uh, Dan Pena, right? So the, the trillion dollar man, right? He talks about how many times he gets on the phone, he gets on the phone and he gets on the phone. So phone calls, right? So to get inspired, go watch some of his videos. I don't like how he cusses and I don't know. I don't like how he is, you know, all about the money or whatever, but you know, I, I take out the meat and throw out the bones. So, uh, but I do like his philosophy on never giving up and just being on the phones and just being relentless on the phones and that type of thing. So uh, that's what we are doing here. We get on the phones to find some deals and we're doing calls live. Uh, so maybe uh, that's going to be good for, for uh, some of you guys to kind of see those examples. And so the, the, the three main assets that we are focusing on is uh, just finding pretty much uh, mobile home parks, storage facilities, multifamily uh, facilities, so real estate, multifamily real estate, uh, and some storefronts like single tenant buildings to get some triple net clients or triple net tenants. So you will see a lot of that. For the last year, we have focused a lot on houses, so flipping houses and that type of thing. But if the concept is the same, is being on the phone all the time and talking to people and buying their asset, whether the asset is a house or whether the asset is uh, real estate or whether that asset is, uh, it is a uh, cash flowing business, right? So, so that cash flowing business is, uh, is pretty much what we want or the cash flowing real estate to create multiple uh, streams of income and create some, some uh, retirement income. So, so you could say that we're buying real estate and you could say that we're buying businesses as well. So, uh, so that's the calls that we make. So let's go ahead and get started here. Uh, I got a call from a uh, client, so uh, I'll return that call a little later. But um, let's go ahead and make some phone calls here. Uh, let's see here. So right now I'm going to dial for mobile home parks. Uh, those are great assets and great businesses to buy. So no phones, good trades. Okay, so, so I've already seen that one. Uh, let's see here, Joshua. So I'm going, I have a CRM here that I use. Uh, and, uh, you know, I, I do everything out of the CRM. Uh, by the way, we do about two to three hours uh, recordings per day. And we divide that into like two or three videos. Sometimes we do a whole video uh, of two to three hours of phone calls and phone calls and phone calls, you know, uh, but that we, we really, you know, I'm working about 10 hours a day, uh, just taking other types of phone calls and working deals and some sensitive information. So I, I, I don't get to show you everything, but what I do get to show you, I think is going to be beneficial for you. So uh, in seeing how to buy these business businesses, uh, they call it business deals and, and all this kind of stuff. Uh, so everything is kind of kind of under the same principle, which is, you know, be on the phones and negotiate with somebody. We analyze cap rates. We analyze gross income versus net income. And so we're doing that on the fly with people on the phone. So uh, but also, if you'd like to participate, if you're new to this industry or to this type of uh, uh, finding deals like this, uh, below is is uh, my contact information. So go ahead and contact me. Go ahead and send me a, um, uh, a message or an email or call me or whatever. 
you know, and uh, there's deals that we get all the time that we don't want. So maybe we can network and, and stuff and maybe you can take them down. So let me know about that. But while you're contacting me, give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel and then uh, hit the notification bell so that when we have some deals, some potential opportunities, we get opportunities here all the time. Like just today, we got one opportunity today, which by the way, I didn't record the phone call. I got just a cold call. Uh, somebody that I didn't know who he was said, hey, you know, I'm selling my mobile home park. Uh, so I'm going to fill that information in later on. Uh, and uh, so, so if you want to be a part of those, do contact me. And let's, let's do some deals together. Let's buy some businesses together. Let's buy some real estate together. It's the easiest way to get into real estate. The easiest way, way to get into mergers and acquisitions is to just partner with somebody who's already doing it like us. So, uh, or you can go find, you know, in your local market, somebody that you trust uh, also to do that. But, because uh, that's the easiest way to do it. So, uh, Let's go and deal with these phone calls now. Um, let me do enter some of the information here. So I'm going to put the notes here. John called me along with his wife. Come, I think she's his new wife about the part that they want to sell, period. It is in Jacksonville but I think it's a really small park they own. 17 total sites with 16 occupied. And they said that at 1.3 million, they would have an 8.9 cap rate, period, new paragraph. They said that the total amount of mobile homes that they own, which is comma, they own 16 homes, comma, the amount or value that they've given is $246,053, which amounts to about $15,378 per trailer, period. right here. So I, when I make my phone calls, I write notes by pen so that I, I don't have to scramble and stuff. They live in D-land, so that is really next door to me. But I don't think that we are interested in this deal because it's too expensive. If I subtract the value of the homes from the cost of the pad, then they are truly wanting about $65,872 per occupied pad, period. Plus their park is very small. However, it's in a fantastic location in Jacksonville since I used to live there. They are going to send an estimate No, not an estimate. Email with more information. Okay. Analyze, deal with will. So phone call with will, which is my partner to analyze, okay. So we could do that probably uh, on 
Tuesday. Okay. Okay, so let me let me just do some follow up sequences here. I have the CRM, and I am, um, uh, you know, it, it it does a lot of heavy lifting for me. So. Okay. All right, so I will come back to him a little later to check this. Okay, so let's buy another business. Uh, so let's call more mobile home parks and then maybe we'll do some storage facilities here in a little bit, uh, but let's keep going here. Joshua. Okay, so because we use a CRM, I can see people's messages here. Uh, as an apartment building. So this is an, an apartment owner. Uh, so I don't want apartments, uh, let me, because I don't want to call apartments right now. I just want to call mobile home parts. Uh, so let me switch my search here. Want and then Okay. Oh no. Okay, well, not able to see that, okay. Okay, so, okay, okay, here, got it. All right, 22, okay. So let's, uh, let's go right here, Arthur is the name of this guy. Over a year ago, okay. Dwayne, let's see. Okay, no phone number, let's go trace. All right. So the last time somebody spoke to him was over a year ago. So let's uh, make another call, text messages. Uh, we texted about your park a few months ago. I know Mark, Mark was crazy if you're considering selling your park in. Before interest rates climb much higher, if you're going to hold on to it for a while, I hope all is well, call and text in time, okay? So he replied that he was interested, but at 2.5 million. So let's see how big his park is. Okay, well, let's see. Let's just call him.
Hello, Arthur. This is Ben. Uh, you can give me a call back. I was calling you back about your uh, following up on your park. I know you wanted to see if uh, we could come to agreement about selling it. If you can give me a call. Phone number is. Um, thank you so much. Uh, the voicemail, but I don't think it went through. We'll see. Please leave your message for Hey Arthur, uh, this is Ben calling you back. Uh, we spoke uh, a while back about your park. Uh, if you can give me a call, I wanted to run an idea by you. Uh, phone number to reach me back on is talk to you soon. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Okay. Do a task. Okay, so this one will follow up in a month. Okay, so nothing else to do here. Let's move on to the next one. Let's keep dialing, keep dialing and dialing for dollars is what we call it. Hold. Same things. Uh, last year. I'm curious considering selling it. It's been a while back. Okay, same thing. Good morning. Yes, hello, uh, Sharon. Uh, she's not available right now. She's not available right now. Okay, am I? Am I calling her place of business? Yes, you are. Can the, you call back her at three? At three? She, so this is the yes. mobile home park, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll call her back at three. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay. Not available right now. Call. PM. Uh, and then it, this is, uh, yep, same time frame as me. Time zone. Uh, so do follow up. Right. It's okay. Okay, so I will have that. But now I'm gonna call her uh, cell phone. This is Sharon. I'm sorry I'm not available. Please leave me your name and number, and I'll get back with you shortly. God bless. The mailbox is full and cannot accept Ooh. any messages at this time. Goodbye. Okay. Uh, full mailbox. Okay. So let's uh, call her back at three.
has multiple kids for recently set up trust. Okay. We're sorry, you have reached a number that is disconnected or is no longer in service. If you have reached Okay. Let's keep getting businesses here. We're sorry, you have. Okay, bad number. Let's keep moving. <laughs> Sorry, you have reached a number that has been disconnected. It's like all his numbers are disconnected. Hello? Yeah, hello. Is this uh, uh, Mrs. Lamb? Yes. Yeah. Yes, how are you, ma'am? This is Ben. Uh, I had spoken to Todd a while back about uh, you guys' mobile home park. And I was just calling back oh, to see honey. what you... Go ahead. Honey, you've got the, you've got the wrong number. I'm, I'm his wife, but that's his business. I'm sorry. Oh, no, 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 that's okay. That, that's okay, yeah. no problem. Uh, is there a time where I, when I can reach him? I, I, have, I have no idea. But thank you. Sorry, I'm climbing up and decorating. You'll have to just reach time. Okay. Take care. Thank you. You got it. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Bye. 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 Okay. So, yeah, she didn't want to talk. 2890. This one. Very chatty. Okay. We're sorry, you have reached a number that has been disconnected. Okay, bad number again. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Seven, one, three, five. Available. Hey, Todd, uh, this is Ben. Uh, we had chatted before about uh, your mobile home park. I wanted to kind of see your plans and, um, you know, we're fellow operators and I uh, wanted to see if uh, maybe we can make a deal happen. Uh, if you can give me a call back or send me a text message whenever you get this, uh, the phone number to do so at is talk to you soon. Thanks. Okay. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Eight three two seven four six. Hey Todd, uh, this is Ben. Uh, just calling you back about uh, we had chatted about your future plans for your mobile home park. I uh, wanted to run an idea by you if you can uh, give me a call whenever you get this. Uh, phone number 831. Thank you. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Uh, 
uh, they don't seem like very cooperative. Uh, so three month follow up. Okay. We just got to keep ripping through these calls. All right, so here we have another person here, another possible business to buy. Okay, so let's see here, let's just confirm. A lot of wrong numbers and stuff, so I'm expecting this one to be wrong as well. We're sorry, you have reached a number that has been disconnected. We're sorry, your call cannot be completed. Sorry, you have okay, so yeah, that's we got two more numbers numbers to go. Hopefully, those are uh, we can connect. Let's see. Greg is his name. Yeah, hello, Greg. Yeah. Yeah, how you doing? This is Ben. Uh, ben? Yeah, we chatted, we chatted a few months back about uh, your park um, and uh, wanted to just call you back, touch base again, see if you still uh, might be interested in selling it. Uh, which park were we talking about? Sorry. We were chatting about... Um, one specifically was North Carolina, but I don't know if you own multiple in North Carolina. I do. I do. Okay. Okay. I recall uh, 62 spaces. Uh, 62 spaces. I think, uh, let me see. My notes say three, three parks. So you still have the three yeah, of them? I do. I do. Oh, okay. Well, you know, we are pretty aggressively looking into, you know, getting getting uh, from 700 units to about a thousand, hopefully, uh, is is which one would you most likely be to sell or all three of them, if, if that be possible? Um, it's possible. Dan, hey, look, can you call me like on Monday or Tuesday? Monday or Tuesday? Yep. Probably right now. Yeah. Okay. But, yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. All right. Thanks. Thank you. Uh -huh. Bye-bye. There we go. Three parks. Three parks. That's what I'm talking about. Just keep making the calls. And sometimes this happens. So, so yeah, let's uh, go on to the uh, next one here. But before we do that, let's uh, finish these phone calls. Uh, notes here. Uh, we've got Mr. Uh, um, Craig, uh, Craig, um, let's see if we have him here. Just open him up again. Um, we have an appointment with him, uh, because we got him to, agree to this to talk to us about uh, buying it three mobile home parks uh, so so I'm going to tag him here so this is going to be October 12th uh, so that's not going to apply anymore so he said to Call him back on Monday or Tuesday. Call. 
Um, do it Monday right away. Time. Uh, anytime, really. Uh, wants to sell three parts. Would like to talk. Okay. So there we go. He is good to go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through our tasks now that we had set up. Overdue tasks, okay. We don't want any overdue tasks. Uh, so let's go through this one here. Also request that an email, email be sent with hit, with info. They are very well to do. They have a bunch of partners. The reason he's interested in selling is because of his partners. That's right. I remember him. As mentioned below, they have a bunch of commercial rental stuff. Okay. So I'm going to send him an email. Uh, so I'm going to say email Dave okay so what I'm going to do is go right here Okay, I'm gonna text him real quick. Okay. Hello, Dave. It's Ben. We spoke last week about The park doing thirty one exchange, etc. I was going to send you wanted to send me an email as I could. What's going on? So uh, time to discuss further. Okay. So I'll check with him. Send an email, and that'll be in three days. Okay. Okay, so on to the next follow up. Okay, that wrap in the mobile park community. Yeah. Okay, follow up. I uh, remember this guy. Okay, uh, so I'm going to add an email here that he gave me. Uh, 
Okay, let me call him again. Hello. Hello, Robert. How are you? This is Ben. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm following up. Uh, we had spoken last week uh, about uh, possible parks that you uh, may want to sell. Uh, you asked me to send you an email uh, with information about us, etc. I have done that. I uh, was just calling to check if see if you received it or maybe I need to send it again. You know, every, when you call me, it shows up as spam. So you may have went to you may have went to uh, spam in my in your email. Oh, so I don't remember getting anything. So yeah, right now when I answer the phone, because I always answer the phone, but it showed up as spam call. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, yeah. So, I need, I need you're to... the guy that has trying to build a thousand units, right? Uh, yes, that's right. And you're in the Bay Area. Uh, no, no, no. I'm uh, I'm in Florida. Well, you have an eight three one number. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, I was in the military, <laughs> so, so I moved around a lot. Okay, because so you have a California number. Yeah, yeah, that's why I was in the military. I was, I was stationed uh, from coast to coast, so, so the last station was here in Florida, so I just, you know, this, when I got out of the military, I, I stayed you. here. All right, which craft was I supposed to send you? Uh, you said you had a few in uh, Kentucky, Tennessee. Uh, yeah, and so, I thought I sent those. Anyway, do resend me your email again right now. Okay. Just text it to me. Text it to me. Say, here's my email, and uh, and send me the properties in Tennessee and Kentucky, and I'll get them right out to you. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you, Robert. Bye bye. Okay. Okay. I'm going to text him now. Here's my email address. properties mentioned in uh, he mentioned he had them in uh, Tennessee this is why I write notes for everything Tennessee Tennessee Kentucky Alabama. And nearby states. Thank you. Ben. Uh, okay. Okay, I'll check with him uh, next week. One week follow up. Okay, cool. So now that we got that. Let's see here. Tasks. Uh, left voicemail. We'll add it and call it. Okay. Okay, I haven't got hold of this guy, but I wanted to get a hold of him again. Okay, uh, this park is in. 
know. Hi, you've reached Kevin and Lynn with Casey Electric and Construction. Obviously, you were away from the phone. If you could leave us a brief message, and we will get back to you as soon as we can. If it is an emergency, you can get a hold of me on my cell. That is 27678 uh, Hello, Kevin. Uh, this is Ben. Uh, I called you a few days ago about uh, chatting with you about your mobile home park. If you can, give me a call back uh, whenever you get this message. Thank you. Bye-bye now. Yeah, he hasn't uh, replied, left a voicemail. I can't get to the phone right now. If you can, leave me a short message and I'll return your call as quick as I can. Thank you. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. To leave a callback number, press five. Hey, Kevin, uh, this is Ben. Uh, just uh, left you a voicemail on the other line. If you can, give me a call back whenever you get this message in reference to uh, your park. Uh, thank you and talk to you soon. Okay, so follow up in uh, two weeks. Okay. Next uh, lead here. Mailbox is full. Oh, no, she's not getting bombarded. Okay. I'm going to say, okay. Not interested at the moment. She needs to talk to her son. Okay. Bunch of phone calls here and hasn't picked up. Okay. Hello, we are not available now. Please leave your name and phone number after the beep. We will return your call. Hey, Patricia, uh, this is Ben uh, Harvey. Um, wanted to uh, give you a call back, uh, see if we could chat about uh, uh, possibly talking your future plans for your Mo home park, if you can. Give me a call back whenever you get this message. Uh, phone number 831. Uh, thank you and talk to you soon. Bye-bye now. Okay, so. Um, we'll schedule her for a future time. Okay. Deborah seems like 
This is the best in the human. Maybe Sons is in the hospital, it might be a little. Well, before they were ready to sell. Okay, so this is a while ago. Okay. Six. Nothing, I don't think. Probably won't answer. Ringing, ringing. Okay, well, didn't uh, answer and no voicemail, so we'll see. Two zero five two one six five five is not available. Hey Deborah, this is Ben. Uh, just calling you back. Uh, we had chatted about your mobile home park. Uh, if you can give me a call back whenever you get this message. Um, wanted to run an idea by you. Also wanted to ask you about the you know, your plans for the future for the park. If you can, give me a call whenever you get this 831. So whenever you get this message, uh, go ahead and give me a holler. Thank you. Bye-bye now. Okay, so nothing happened there.
answer. Uh... You have reached mailbox number two zero five four three. Please leave your message after the tone. Hey, Deborah, this is Ben. I was just uh, reaching back out to you, wanted to chat with you about your mobile home park. If you can, give me a call back whenever you get this message. I uh, had an idea to run by you. If you uh, so whenever you get this, the number to call, um, thank you so much and talk to you soon. Bye-bye now. Okay, so I will get rid of this and I'll schedule a follow up in about, uh, in about a month. She's not answering, so let's do it that way. I will put this as okay. So, uh, all right. The only one that was not disconnected was this one. So we gotta mark the other ones disconnected. Yeah, skip trace. We're gonna skip trace this one. Um, Yeah, hello, Terry. This is Ellen. Ellen, uh, yes, I was looking for uh, Terry. Uh, shrink, please. Yes, I take care of the business. Does that have something to do with that? Yes, yes, for sure. So you're the manager of the mobile home park? Well, I'm the wife. <laughs> <laughs> so that means, that, that means you own it. <laughs> you, you better talk to the boss man here. Okay. You're, you're having a hard problem. How you, you know, doing, Terry? <laughs> not too severe. Yeah, who, this is my friend. Oh, this is Ben. This is Ben. We had chatted pr previously about uh, your mobile home park and wanted to just give you a call back and see if uh, you guys had decided anything. I, I know that. Uh, oh, where are you at, Ben? I'll get your phone number. Uh, where do you live at? I, I live in Florida. Florida, yes, Ben. Well, see, mostly with my trailer court, I haven't sold yet, but I'm getting there. But the thing is, I own all the mobile homes in it, pretty much. Do you know what I mean? I do, yeah. That wouldn't be a problem either. Oh, it wouldn't? No, it wouldn't. It wouldn't. We, we'd be more than happy to, to go through all the numbers and stuff and, and then just kind of 
get a get a fair get a number that you're happy with. Okay, and let's see. And your, I'll just put this phone number down with your name, Ben, right? Yeah, yeah. My 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 name is Ben. My it's about four and a half acres of land. Beautiful lot of trees. Beautiful area. Uh, in Brookings, South Dakota, you know, do you buy mm -hmm. up in the Midwest? Absolutely, all the time. We have a few. We have a few parks in the Midwest. We're at up to seven hundred units. Okay. Yes, sir. And but like you say, I maybe have thirty lots and a little house and a fourplex. Oh, perfect! Thirty lots. How oh, we'll see, thirty. Mm -hmm. Thirty-four. About around thirty. Okay. Around 30. And most of the mobile homes I own. Okay. And they're older in most cases. Okay. Okay. I mean, whether you'd want to put them out and put new ones in and sell or rent to people or whatever, that's your business, wouldn't it be? It wouldn't be mine, you know. <laughs> yeah, you got it. No problem. No problem. But okay. That's possible, too. Yes, sir. Well, yes. And there's a mobile home park in Brookings closing, so they need another one. Uh, <laughs> you know, for people that want to live in mobile homes, you know. That's and, right. Yeah, that's right. Well, let, let me, when I got a chance, maybe I'll give you a call back here. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Let's, uh, so are you thinking next week sometime, or what, when, when are you thinking? Probably in the next, uh, I'll try to give you a call in the, in the near future, this month, if I can. Okay. Because it's, you know, getting into fall in case I do anything, you know. Right. It's lovely work for work. It's lovely work for working now, too, Ben. Now <laughs> That's right. That's now right. we're starting to hit it a little. You know, the hot season is over. We're starting to cool down. That's right. I turned heaters on last night in the bedroom. Oh, no kidding. Well, that's nice. And one out in the kitchen and living room this morning. Yeah. You know, little floor heaters. So we get, we've been down to 10 or 20 above. Wow. At night, so about freezing. Yeah. So, so uh, it gets a little nippy, you know, good sleeping. That's right, good sleeping. But That's it's right. still, you might want to take the chill off a little. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try to call you this month, but you're saying what should, uh, you're saying to uh, do what? Did you say that? I'll try to come up with a figure and let you know. Yeah, that'll, that'll work. That'll be beautiful. That would make it easier. And then we go from there. You got it. You got it, Terry. Thank you, Ben, for Thank calling. I kind of remember. What town are you in in Florida? Uh, Central Florida, Orlando. Oh, Central Florida. Yes, sir. Yeah. And you lost a, a guitar player from your state, kind of, Jimmy Buffett. That's right. We did. Isn't that something? He's been around forever. <laughs> and yeah, yes. And in 69... He played up at Brookings, I think it was in 1969, he played at Brookings at a little place called the Townhouse, where my band has played a hundred times, you know. No kidding. So, and I played in every square inch of that place, so wherever he stood, I stood. Oh. But he was successful and I wasn't. But this was kind of his stomping ground till, you know, during a winter or something, you know what I mean? I do. Uh, fall or winter. And then he talks about it, I think, in his book, too. But then there was kind of a little tornado come, came through that we don't usually have much of that. You know what I mean, Ben? I do. So I know. We were living in a trailer house, and some of the trailers started moving left and right and whatever. And so then we hit the road. But he was here for a few months playing at the townhouse. Oh, wow. Wow. But I played a million times. Wow. So you, you're a big player, too, then? Well, no, I didn't say that. <laughs> hey, he was doing those songs like, uh, oh, he was doing, man, you know his songs, don't you? I do, I do. You know, I was, I was in the... <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> hey, nothing to show but this brand new tattoo. There you go. There it is. There it is. One of his songs. 
Oh, you heard that. Oh, you yeah. Heard that oh, I was in the military. Believe me, we used to play. We used to play him when we were in the Middle East, you know, to remind us of home. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I wonder if he wrote that if in Florida. I wonder if there's a, are there Margaritavilles in Florida in the Keys? Or, oh, yeah. I've never seen the Mar- not one of his Margaritavilles. Oh, they're, they're, they're building a brand new one. one. They're building a brand new one about 20 minutes from me. Uh, That's right. But when he wrote that song, I don't know when he did it, in Florida, was down in the Keys, was he maybe living in a town or a beach or something called Margaritaville? Could that be possible? That, uh, I I don't know about that. I don't know oh, about I that. I was wondering. Yeah. Because he said, I'll always here again in Margaritaville. Yeah. Searching for my life. You know what I mean? So I was wondering if he was in an area down there called Margaritaville, you know, that they helped him write that song, you know. <laughs> that That is very and much possible. That, now, he puts up all kinds of Margaritavilles all over, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. Oh, yeah, he does all the time. All the time. I mean, and they're beautiful, too. Oh, yeah. I've been in one in Jamaica. Uh, uh, I think so. A Margaritaville. So. Yeah. Well, they said he started building them. He thought he lost his... Uh, yeah, ability to play or the music industry, you know, kicked him out of the business or whatever. He'd have a place to play. Oh, okay. So that's why he started building them. Yeah. I want to learn that song. He's got another real good one. Come Monday, it'll be all right. Come Monday, you know. I don't know if you've heard it, but it's called Come Monday. I have. And it's a pretty nice slow song. He's, you know, he wrote a couple. He's written a couple good songs there, you know. Uh, yeah. Common, I don't know if he's a great writer, but he wrote a real good one. Common, sometimes when you write just a, a common, ordinary song like Margaritaville, you know what I mean? Yeah. It hits and makes you lots of money. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, there's better writers, but he happened to hit on a few good songs there. And so it did pretty, it treated him pretty good, didn't it? Yeah, it did. It definitely did. I, I'm Googling here where he wrote Margaritaville uh, yeah. song. I, I wonder I, if, he, if it was in an area in Florida where it was called Margaritaville. Yeah, yeah, maybe so. I, I can't find I can't find anyone to get. It says right here that, you know, you may be right. You may be right. Uh, he, he loosely uh, uh, wrote it near a, a, a bar or something in Key West uh, after Margaritaville. So uh, I think there's a place in, in Key West called that, I, 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 like, a, like a bar or something. That's what I was inferring. Yeah. Maybe there was a place called Margaritaville, and that's where he used to hang out. That's right. And, you know what I mean? And that's how he came up with the song. You yeah. Know, so. Have you ever been to Key West? No, I haven't. I wouldn't mind doing it sometime. I think you would. I think you would enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah. Do you know that song called Monday by Nothing? Yep. Have you ever heard of that? I have. I have. Oh, I thought I was going to say you should listen to it. I'm going to have to learn it because I think it's a good song. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I had forgotten about that one, you know, but that one I kind of want to learn. But mm-hmm. but he did pretty good, you know, they say he's worth, he was worth a few billion or whatever, at least a billion something, you know, one of the, he did as good as almost anybody in music, money-wise, yeah, business-wise. Yeah. Yeah, he was doing very good. That's for sure. And and everybody loved him. You know, I mean, it, he's he's a celebrity, like like an institution kind of. You know. Yeah, he is. And they were talking on our TV in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, about him. How people had remembered him in the townhouse. You know. So we heard it the other night on on TV. So yeah. there's been some people around that. You know, and when I used to play there, the owners said, "Hey, you're playing where?" Uh, Jimmy Buffett used to play that he said years ago, you know, and, and we played that a hundred times, you know. <laughs> so and it wasn't that great a place, you know. But yeah. so there was always word. So I might run into some of the guys that used to run the place if they're still alive. Yeah. And then I'll have to discuss it a little more. But, yeah, that'd be that'd you know, be fun it's time. Kinda, it's kinda funny. And then he was playing the, I guess Minneapolis one time and said, Oh, I'm close to my old hometown. Brooklyn, South Dakota. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. So, wow. Dude, he lived there for a little while. So. Yeah, yeah, that's good, man. Funny, this is a good time. 
worked out, isn't it? Oh yeah, very funny. Yeah, for sure. Were you were, were you in the service too? No, they wouldn't take me. I don't think. Oh man, <laughs> too much. I'm kind of a I'm kind of a wuss. I don't think they would have taken me. I locked them, locked out on the, you know, the lottery. Yep, yep, yep. They I, didn't pull my number out. They came close, but yeah, I don't think it would have been very good. I respect the people that go because you know what I mean. They're real men that go in and do do that type of thing, but. I'm kind of a wuss at it. I wouldn't have probably been very good. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, it's a, you know, it's a. Anything like that. I did athletes and sports. I was real good at a lot of that stuff. But I'm kind of a wuss when it comes to guns. You know what I mean? Yeah. I do yeah. own a gun. Oh, yeah. No, it's a. Uh... I think I killed a bird when I was eight years old and I cried girls. <laughs> no kidding. Yeah. So I wouldn't have been much good, I don't think. But and I was not having fun playing music, you know, around these little towns. Yeah. Well, you know, Jimmy, you know, Jimmy Buffett, he he almost became a navy officer, you know. But uh, oh, oh, he did. Huh? Oh, he yeah. Was, he was in the navy or whatever. Or army. Yeah, he was in the navy. He was in the navy. Oh, yeah. uh, you know, and he went. He applied to become a, uh, you know, a, an officer in the navy, but. Because he had some sort of uh, medical condition, uh, they they wouldn't take him. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah I think I did hear that. He, he yeah. did try to, you know, move up. Or up. I, I've heard where he's been. And I thought I had heard that he'd been in the navy or somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was, that was nice of him too. You know, that's to right. Serve your country. You That's know. right. You got it. Yeah. It, it, but he was really well known. You know, when when you get deployed, I was uh, I was in the Middle East. You get deployed. Uh, there's a lot of, uh, you know, like people like him, other singers and stuff that they put a big show in the Middle East. Like when when a big squadron is about to leave or something, uh, come back to the States, uh, they, they put like a big show like like you had him and then you had a. Uh, you had like uh, a little bit uh, later than, than than him. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Toby Toby Keith. You know, Toby uh, Keith, real yeah, good, real good, real yeah. Good. A bunch of these guys. They came out when I was out there, and they just put on a show. You know, like everybody was oh, like, so, pretty nice, pretty yeah, nice. yeah. And they they don't get paid. Like when they come they and do don't. that, they don't get paid. They do it as a service. You know, so I always yeah. admire that about these guys. And you didn't it when you were there, correct? Right. It was nice. It, it, it reminded you of home. It, exactly, exactly. Put exactly. me, put me right back to Florida. You know. <laughs> oh yeah. 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 That's, and uh, uh, you know, Alan Jackson. You know, he came out one time as well. And and and, and I remember thinking, you know, his song. You know, it's five o'clock somewhere. <laughs> I'm yeah. like, well, it's certainly five o'clock in the states right now. Somebody's having a drink. <laughs> yeah. And it was, you were thinking about it. That's right, exactly. Yeah. You yeah. had some other pretty good uh, musicians from Florida. Let me think who they were. How about the Bellamy, Bellamy Brothers? Have you ever heard of them? I haven't heard them. I think they're from Florida. They had a good, they had a lot, we did a lot of their songs in the band, you know, through the years. They're Florida Floridians. Yeah. But they had a real good one. Give me, give me, give me, give me a redneck girl. Oh, yeah. I didn't sing it, my guitar player. Sang it, but give me, give me, give me, give me that girl. Yeah. That's a heck of a song. Oh, man. Yeah, that sounds good. You're a good singer. You're a good singer. You should record it. Redneck girl, you know, likes to stay out all night long. And I think that's Bellamy Brothers from Florida. Yeah. I had that song out. But they had quite a few, you know. Yeah. So, yeah, that's cool. But they're from Florida. They had a lot of good ones, too, you know. Yeah, yeah, well. That's just, that's one of them. Uh, that, if you listen to that one, that's a good one, too. So, mm -hmm. you have good musicians down there in Florida. Yeah, very cool. Very nice place. Have you been to Florida? I've been in and out on the way to Jamaica, but I really haven't spent much time. We have cooler weather here now, but when it cools down, I'd like to go to the Keys or Florida. Oh, I have been to Florida. Jackson, is it Jacksonville? Yeah, Jacksonville. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. That's and to the, you know, the 
amusement park, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Disney World. Disney World. Yeah. I did go there and then I passed through. Uh, we ran over an alligator on the way to get to <laughs> <with> Jamaica. <laughs> There's a ton of alligators. We, 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 we eat them down here. Yeah, we're, we're gonna we're gonna eat some alligator tonight. <laughs> oh boy! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! My boy, he's 13 years old and he loves it. <laughs> oh, he does. It's pretty good. Do you like it? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. It's good. It's pretty good. It tastes like I don't know if you've had a uh, shark before. Shark is it? We might have had a little of taste. Yeah, yeah. Kind of. It almost kind of like mahi mahi, but a little a little tougher and a little more uh, gamey tasting. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We'll have to try that sometime. Yeah, for sure. When you come down here, let's get together and do it. Once we buy the park, you know, then then we can take a little trip. And then I'll have the money. I can come anytime. And you got it. We can party down. You got it. You got it. Play some uh, Jimmy Buffett songs. You know, I got a guitar myself over here, so we can we can do a little bit oh, of yeah, a... next one. I got about 100. Uh, I have about 15 or 17 in the living room right now. Oh, so, that's awesome. I have a few. They're not all great guitars. I have sold some for money when I needed it. You know what I mean? I collected them over the years. Yeah. But I still have some good ones left, too. But oh, that's great. I've worked on them, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, for you sure. Know, I love playing guitar. It's really guitar. cool. Yeah, it's so relaxing playing guitar, you know. It's just this just a rela- it's so relaxing just playing guitar, you know. It's just, oh yeah. It's a fun it's a fun game. That's I'm right. starting to go to a little oh you got a guitar, huh? Yeah, I do, yep. I'm starting to go to these little you can put them right in your chair. They might not sound that one I grabbed is just it's a three quarter size. The body's a little smaller. Oh, gotcha. You can sit yeah. it right in your chair. I bought a piece the other day. Mm-hmm. And it's small, and it fits right in your chair. Do you know what I mean? Sure. Yeah, I do. I do. So I've then, seen them. So then, when you grab a, a guitar, you don't you don't have to sit up or anything. It fits right in your your chair. It's a small body. Yeah. So I kind of go and I'm, I got a couple of these real small body guitars right here. Yeah. And then I'm looking at about fifteen full size. Uh, yeah. You know what I mean by yeah. But the little ones are kind of fun in your living room and just pick it up and play it. You know what I mean? That, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Easy fun. If you ever get a good three quarter size, like a little tailor or something, you know, they're mm-hmm. a nice little guitar. They're easy. You can just mm-hmm. when you're sitting in your living room, you can pick it up and it fits. It fits your belly real good, you know? Yeah. And you can play it right there, you know? That's so, right. That's right. You've I've been doing that lately, so it's kind of fun. Yeah, very cool, very cool. Well, it's been it's been so swelly talking to you, Terry. I mean, uh, yeah. yeah, let's. Uh, you got it, you got it. Yeah, I'll be waiting for your call. I'll also check back in with you, you know, just to kind of see. Hey, see. Is up so we know what we're doing. You got it, you got it, absolutely. You betcha. Okay. And that was a good song too by Roy Orbison. <laughs> you got it. There you go. There you go. Roy Orbison, if you remember that name. I do. I do remember that. Yeah, my daddy My daddy used to listen to him. Oh, yeah. yeah. He had the song with the, the Wilburys or whatever. Mm-hmm. He and George Harrison and Bob Dylan and, you know, anything you want, you've got it. You know, that's uh-huh. the song. I heard yeah. he used those words, so. Yeah. Whenever I hear words, I think of a song. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's right. That's right. You know, Steve Jobs used to do the same thing uh, with uh, with the Beatles. You know, he used to, in a lot of his stuff. Steve Jobs, you know, the guy that built built these computers. You know, the the Macintosh computers and the iPhones and all that kind of stuff. He yeah. he used to say the same thing that he whenever he would think of of names for his products and all this kind of stuff, he would think of the Beatles. You know, the the the, oh, the Beatles. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, I know what you mean. I've, well, I've been working on some Beatles songs too, you know, just re- recently too. But yeah. they had an awful lot of good music also. Yeah, yeah, they did. They did. Yeah. So, um, that's so awesome. I just started working up with them. Close your eyes and I'll kiss you, you know, <laughs> all my loving. Yeah, that's awesome. That's great. Well, that's. I've sung a lot of them over the years. Oh, you, you do know. a good job. You do a good job. Even over Not the phone, really, it came out It I, came out pretty I, cool over the phone. I'm 77. I'm still working on it. And then, oh, you know, 
So, but it's fun. It's a good hobby. Yeah, very good ho- hobby, and and uh, it puts it puts a smile on people's faces. You know, it's, it's very rare oh, when that yeah. happens. Music seems to do that. Yeah, you know, you know what it said. What was who said that Nietzsche or something said that uh, life would be like meaningless or something without music, something like that. Something to that effect. Something so, to that effect. Yeah. My music ain't always the best the way I do it, but yeah. it's fun doing it and performing and playing and uh-huh. like you say, relaxation, you name it. Yeah, yeah. We've got anything you want, we've got it. <laughs> you got it, Terry. So. <laughs> Hours, ain't it? Hey, it is. It is. I got to go, baby, because it's 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 the hours. Then you got it. Company, but it's the hours. You got to get to work, don't you? I do. I got to get to work. That's for sure. And I should. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There yeah, you have go. a good day, my friend. You got it, Terry. We'll talk soon, okay? Okay, take care. Have oh, a good day. Okay, thank you. Okay. Oh, I will. I definitely will. I'll let you know next time we talk. I'll let you know how it was. Okay, thanks for calling. You got it. Thank you, Terry. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. What a nice guy. That was awesome. That was great. Hey, you know, he picked up the guitar. He started singing to me. That's that's amazing. That's that's when a seller really likes you. That's when a seller really likes you. Uh, so he is going to sell. That's what we call pocket listing. He's getting ready to try to sell it and all that kind of stuff. So he hasn't contacted any brokers or anything like that. So that's great. It's a, it's a fantastic uh, uh, lead here. Uh, let's see here. Mr. Terry was a lot of fun to talk to, although it really took a while to get through the call. But he is all into Jimmy Buffett because he is a guitar player and even performed in the past and he would love to come down to florida uh, after he sells his park period mrs shrink uh answered let me spell it correctly here Answer the phone and seems like she lets him make all the decisions. That's important because, you know, he can't say, hey, I got to talk to the wife, that type of thing. Some people say that. They own four and a half acres. And there are 30 lots plus a house plus a fourplex. And they own most of the homes on the lots which are occupied. He said that they are getting ready to sell it. And they are thinking very seriously about it and they know they need to come up with a price so they asked if i could give them a little time for them to come up with the price and he said that hopefully they'll have it before the end of the month period right now they're trying to focus on finishing the the work that has to be done to the mobile home park before it gets really cold and they want to get it done right now because it's not so hot and they can actually work, period. So they requested if they can get it to me by the end of the month. But I will check in with them in between, period. Okay. Uh, so I will set up a follow-up in two weeks with them. Perfect. All right. Okay, so that is how many deals today? Maybe like two or something. We had an earlier session. 
today. So this is going to be two deals. Uh -huh. So that's, that's fantastic. Uh, let's move on to the next deal here. Okay. Uh, next potential deal. Okay. So this one said to call 3 p.m. So it's almost 3 p.m. No, it's, it's past 3 p.m. But let's just do uh, sharing. Okay. Uh, call back at 3 p.m. Which is this. Okay. So this one we talked to earlier. Hi, this is Sharon. I'm sorry I'm not available. Please leave me your name and number and I'll get back with you. Okay. H. Yes, hi. Uh, I called earlier asking for Sharon, and you said to call after three. Uh, just want, was wondering if she's a, she's available now. No, she's not in. This is Gail, her property manager. What can I do for you? Oh yes, yes. Okay. So um, yeah, I was. Uh, we spoke to her a few months back about the possibility of perhaps uh, uh, buying the mobile home park. Uh, do you do you know anything about her plans about selling? Um, she can come up with about five million. She said she'll sell it. <laughs> That's what she just told you. <laughs> no, she didn't just tell me that. That's what she told me about three months ago. And I don't know nobody that dumb. So. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I see. How many units are there in the park? Uh, Forty something plus it has. Two stores on it. Forty something plus two stores. What kind of stores? That's interesting. Uh, they are. Um, they have convenience stores. They have ding ding machines in them. Oh, okay. Them convenience stores. Okay. Uh, okay. So. I, I know that the five million might probably just be you know something that. <laughs> That, that she just threw up in the air, but do you, do you know if like, she would be like serious about selling it? Like it. everybody that she gives, they give her an offer. She turns them down. She turns them down. What kind of offers is she getting? Uh, 150. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, I can give you, you said you talked to her. Do you still have her email address? Uh, is it, uh, Sorry, I had to pause that there for a second because she was giving me a lot of information. So basically, I'll just uh, I'll just tell you here. I'm going to put it here on the notes as well, uh, so you can hear what happened because I had to pause it. But uh, <clears throat> uh, Gail is the property manager. Has been with Miss Sharon since 1997, and. Uh, she used to own another park and sold it to um, another gentleman that they think he might be interested in selling right now, period. And they know him well, period. So sold that park because the park pretty much broke Sharon's spirit not so much financially or otherwise, according to Gail, period. They definitely do not want to sell, but I am pushing a little bit because something tells me that they probably do. So I'm trying to be really friendly. Uh, and they are Christians as well as I am. 
So I am definitely going to get friendly with them and see if we can get them to uh, have a conversation about price. Uh, okay, so referral. And here's the private information. Okay. All right. So there we go. So now I have to schedule a few things here really quick. Okay, so um, I just had to get a little bit organized here, uh, but um, we are going to continue to, uh, to make more calls, but we're going to go take, take a quick break, uh, and then we're going to send out some, some emails and uh, contract. So um, I hope you guys like uh, seeing these videos behind the scenes, mergers and acquisitions, or uh, acquisitions or real estate acquisitions is pretty much what we're doing here. Finding businesses or finding real estate that will cash flow so we can make monthly income uh, on that. Uh, so I put all these videos up so that uh, you guys can kind of see uh, how, what kind of like what it takes. It's, it's just calls, 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 like I was saying earlier, uh, but uh, never giving up and just, just keep calling, just keep calling, just keep calling. Uh, but uh, if you don't have the time to do that, we can work together because uh, we do this. You know, I always say, if we do it, there's no need for you to do it. Let's just work together, you know. So hopefully uh, you can reach out below to my contact information. Uh, also, you know, you can uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, but give me a thumbs up, uh, subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you can see more deals. So we got a few deals today. So, you know, it was a good day today uh, so far, and we're not done yet. So we'll see you guys in the next video right now. It's on a playlist. See you then. Bye-bye.